What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your grateful host, Jeff Rose, and this is the Wealth Hacker channel, where we are dedicated to teaching you new ways to grow wealth that is not taught to you in schools or by your parents. And today we are freaking out <laughs> over chat GPT. Truth be told, I've been freaking out over chat GPT when the thing went live. I just haven't freaked out a lot about it here on the channel. Well, that is until today. Chat GPT serves so many different functions and I'll have a video here coming out soon where I'm gonna show you different ways that you can make money with Chat GPT. But what today I wanted to do a walkthrough and show you here's one way where I am just blown away how Chat GPT can make your life so much more productive, how it can save you money and how it can expand your reach. And one of the ways I'm doing this is I currently write for Forbes. Well, I say currently, but the uh, truth is I've not wrote in a while. You can see here my last article was published in December of 2022. So I, I'm a writer for Forbes, but I just don't publish on a regular basis. And one of the things I used to do in the past was I would take one of my YouTube videos, summarize it, usually having another writer take the YouTube video, take the concept, and then summarize it, turn it into a nice article, and then I would embed that video onto the Forbes article. It was a way to, where I could just record the video, get some of my thoughts you know, in the video, have somebody else take those thoughts, turn it to a nicely written article, publish it on Forbes where I get the exposure on Forbes, also get the views, any clicks or so that are getting on the YouTube video that's embedded in the actual article itself. Now, this is something that I could still do, but I'm just, I'm intrigued because there is a cost of having a writer do that. And that cost can be anywhere from $500 on up to 2000, depending on the writer, depending on who's available. And obviously AI is going crazy right now. I am crazier. So I thought, okay, I want to see if I can take this article, I'm sorry, if I can take this video and then turn it into an article using AI, using chat GPT. I mean, it's like, I see, I see other people do it. I see other people that are freaking out over chat GPT. So I'm like, I might as well freak out too, right? Let's all freak out together. <laughs> So what I want to do today is I want to time myself. Now I have a limited time here because I actually have to pick up my kids from school in about an hour. And this video is not going to be an hour. I'm going to speed ramp it so that you can get a, a full taste of what the process looks like. But what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to set my timer and we're going to see how long it takes me to take a YouTube video and turn it into an article a well-written article on Forbes that I'm planning on publishing on Forbes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit start. So the timer has begun. Okay, so the video that I'm looking at, there are a few that I could have chose. I'm gonna go over something here more recent. So I think about a month ago, I did this video here and it was called two, uh, the top two assets you need for financial freedom. So there's a few options here, right? I already installed this YouTube summary with ChatGPT. Now this is an interesting option. Like this is a Chrome extension. Anybody can download it, it's free, and it will automatically, I'm gonna go ahead and move out of the way. Move out of the way, move out of the way. So it automatically gives you a transcript. What I already can do that and I'll show you how, or it will summarize it. Check this out, look, look at this, like it already summarizes it. Now the one downside with this extension is that if it's a longer video, it doesn't fully, it, it doesn't fully do it, right? So this video, I believe, I how long this video? My oh my goodness, come on ad. Uh, we'll let that play for a little bit. So I think this video is about 10 minutes long. I think that if I'm not mistaken, this YouTube summary with chat GPT, this extension, the video needs to be less than seven minutes. So right now this video, oh my gosh, it's, that's a long, I am very long winded. Uh, this video is actually like 19 minutes long. I am so sorry. Thank you for anybody that watched that video to the end. Okay, so that is one option. So I could take that, turn that into a summary, but let me show you another hack that I've seen. Somebody else showed me this, so I gotta, I can't take full credit for this. But if I go ahead and click here, I'm going to show the transcript and here we go. So here is the transcript. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this. Now, once again, this is a 20 minute. Whoa, look out. This is a 20, 19 minutes and 31 second video, right? 
So if I went ahead and typed this into chat GPT, let me go ahead and just create a new chat and say, can, and there actually is like some YouTube summary here. Let me type. So right now I have this AIPRM, I think it's called. I don't even know what it's called. It's this Chrome extension that has all these different prompts automatically for you. Uh, so let's do YouTube summary. Let's see what it, options it gives me. YouTube summary transcript. Okay, let's see that. But I think what's gonna happen is, is that it's gonna say it's way, way too long. So there already has the prompt, boom. And I already know the answer. I think I know the answer. Oh, look at that. Check this out. Okay. Wow. I, I actually did not <laughs> love this. Too long, didn't read summary. The speaker reflects on his journey, blah, blah, blah. Important topics, background, tangible assets. Yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, I love this. Okay. So yeah, gosh, I like this. Okay. Can you take the above and create an outline or, a, or an article on Forbes? I don't know if that knows what I'm talking about. Let's see what happens. Boom. Introduction. Okay. Oh yeah. Love it. Love it. Okay. Gosh, I love this. This is why I love chat GPT, man. I love this. Okay. Can you begin writing the article? All right. We're going to let that go now. Now this is kind of annoying. So I'm a writer. <laughs> I'm a writer for Forbes. And if I get enough views, I actually do get paid from Forbes, but you can see this here at the bottom. I only have two, <laughs> I can only, I'm not paying, I'm not paying to read articles on Forbes. Like it just doesn't make sense to me, but I'm curious, like what I, I want to do. Let's see. So let's go ahead and continue writing. Let's see. So like, I sh actually, I'm going to, it's, it's still writing. Please rewrite in the first person. So my plan, my hope here is, and this is the one thing that you need to understand that I, I'm still learning about chat GPT. It's all about the prompts. So basically is like, what are you asking? What questions are you, what questions are you asking? You know, what are you telling it to do? And for those of you that aren't good at giving very clear and concise directions, you're going to struggle with AI. You're going to struggle with chat GPT, but if you can really spell it out and that's why this plugin or excuse me, I keep saying plugin, this extension, this AI PRM extension, it already has these prompts already, already built in. So these are other people, other people in other creators out there. So that have created all these and anything I'm going to clear this out. So when you log in, so basically anything that's on this front here, front page has been voted up. So like this one here has a uh, 3.1 million, I think eyeballs, 2.4 million. Oh, that's comment use. Oh, uses 8,000 people like it. So, I mean, basically what this person has already created a prompt, like you can't see what the prompt is, but I'm sharing all that because my, my hope here is that eventually I'm going to figure out what the prompt is that I need. So let's go back to, all right. Here it is. So here is the article. All right. Um, I would have liked to have, can you rewrite and include some bullet points? Please make sure the article is 1200 to 1500 words. Oh boy. Okay. So what? I apologize, but I'm able to fill your request to write a 2000. I didn't say 2000 words. <laughs> Let's see this. I don't need 2000, just 1500. Sometimes it can be a little wonky like this. There we go. Oh no, you're doing me an outline. I want the outline again. Oh, it gives me an introduction. Oh, check this out. Okay. Boom. Yes. Great. Okay. So I got kind of on a tangent here, but like the one thing with Forbes is I always like to include other articles. Like I like to quote other people and include that in my article. So when I can only read two, two more articles, oh my gosh, Forbes, you're making this hard for me. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna get two and just hope that I pick the right two. But well, let's go back here, chat GPT, it stalled out. So this, we have this nice little continue button to continue. Now I went ahead and opened up a Google doc. So I'm gonna start copying and pasting this article here. Now I could have done better with the phone. It's so, it's so funny with chat GPT. One of the things I've learned, like it could have turned these into headings. Like I've seen it. I'm not, I don't know why I was getting picky, but I'll go ahead and turn these into headings. H2s, boom, headings, headings. 
All right, and let's see if it's still going. So already got that one to achieve. All right, okay, conclusion. Boom, I like that. You even gave me some FAQs. Nice. Ooh, what's this? Celebrating 3 million views. Even gives you, sometimes it gives me a link. I don't know who this, oh, this is the developer. Got it, okay. So go back to this Google Doc and I think I got that here. Conclusion, I always end my, the bottom line, building wealth with the right assets. Oh yeah, that's so, another heading here. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, that's not really that bad. Building wealth is not just about getting rich overnight. I'm going to make the screen a little bigger so you guys can see it. Building wealth is just not about getting rich overnight. It's a long-term journey that requires strategic financial decisions. While many people focus on immediate gains and chasing riches, the key lies in building wealth through smart investments. I don't like in this article, I would want to add a little bit more of a personal. So I'm just going to like bold that. Um, I wish we would have made it more in the first person. Let's see if I can just ask it one more time. Can you rewrite the above and make it in the first person? Ah, uh, there we go. Boom. So just out of curiosity, let's do tools, word count. How many words you got me there? Word 724 words, eh, okay. There is no, I don't have like a, a word minimum on Forbes. Like I've seen people publish like less than 500 words. So really, you know, that's, that's really it. I would, would have liked to have some like, this is where like, I've just got to let go of some of the creative control. Like I like to have personal stories. Um, the one thing I do, I will also add some backlinks, uh, to good financial sense, my blog in here. I'm just curious. I just have to ask, let's see if it's done. Is it still going? Let's say it's continue. The one thing with ChatGPT that I've noticed is like sometimes like it will give you sources, uh, like it'll give you links. And I just had it earlier today where it, it, it wasn't like it said like, oh, I'm just an AI language based software. Like I can't do that. All right, let's see. So as this is finishing up writing, I'm just curious, uh, can you source or attribute any articles on Forbes that I might be able to include in my article as a source that's like very redundant but let's see what happens i have a feeling it's going to tell me no oh it does oh <laughs> i love it love it look at this look i love it so i'm just going to open this new tab new tab new tab and i'm getting 404 errors why why am i getting 404 no is it because i did the articles die that's weird. I don't know why that is. That I was all excited. It didn't work out. I'm just curious here. I'm gonna open copy link address. Let me open up another. Hmm. Dang it. Dang it. Once again, this is the this is AI, right? You gotta love it or hate it. Either these don't exist anymore, or they've been re they're not redirecting. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, I was so excited. But what if I just type in, let's see, what was the name of these articles? It was the power of investing in tangible assets. So let me do a search. What a bummer. Um, let me just ask here, let's go. Any other articles? What a bummer. Okay. So this is like not, not required. It's just something that I like to do and something I probably will spend some more time just out of fun. I'm just kind of curious. Are there any articles on goodfinancialsense.com that I could also source? <laughs> uh, that's funny. So like they'll, they'll source Forbes, but they won't source my site. Thanks chat. Thanks, chat GPT. Thanks for the love. But either way, what we have here is uh, we've got, I'm going to go ahead and go back here. So the two top two assets, I'm just going to use the same title. Boom. Uh, put it in the document here. I just want to see if I can have it. Can you rewrite this intro and make it more in the voice? <laughs> Does he even know who Jeff Rose CFP is? I don't know. Let's find out. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to use that. I don't like to join me in this article. So we'll, we'll tweak that. Let me go back here. I love it. I love how it said as a certified financial planner. All right, y'all. So only thing I'm going to do from this point on is I'm going to add some backlinks to my blog. I'm going to try to find at least one, if not two articles where I can go on Forbes and try to take a quote uh, from that article and link to it. That's just something I feel like adds some legitimacy. I also feel like my editor of Forbes would, would appreciate that anytime you're doing some internal backlinking. And, and that's, that's really it. I feel like the video, you know, using my own thought leadership, I feel like it is is summarized like in this article well, very well, and I, I'm excited. So right now, this article, I'm actually gonna show you the time so you can see the actual timestamp, how long this took. We're at 18 minutes, less than 20 minutes to write this article. I'm actually gonna ahead and just stop. Let's just go ahead and round up to 20 minutes. And depending on like a writer, I know there are writers that will do this for less expensive. Sometimes it takes them a while to get back to you <laughs> there if you're not paying higher rates for them. But you know, is, is it worth it to save like four or $500 to use this process? I mean, if depending like, and I, the thing that I, I fully, fully accept is like, I'm still learning the prompts. Like I'm still learning the right ways to ask chat GPT. And I've been watching some, some really amazing other creators on YouTube here that are showing how they're using chat GPT. You know, that's where I even got the idea about taking the transcription, you know, and turning that into an article. Like that's just one way. So like, there's so many different ways that you can use it, but just the, the thing that I love about this is, I mean, one of the ways that I'm, I want to test this is that if you are a content creator and you're trying to think of ways to write catchy headlines, trying to come up with content. And why, why wouldn't you? Like, why wouldn't you go to YouTube, find an arc, I'm sorry, find an article, find a video. Maybe it's one of my videos. Maybe it's another creator's video that has several hundred thousand views or several million views. And I'm, I'm speaking about my niche, the personal finance space, but it could be the, the cooking space. It could be uh, the, the fitness space, like whatever space that is, take a YouTube video, take the transcription using a very similar way I just did here, and then turn that into a 750 word, 1000, 2000, 3000 word article and publish it on your own platform or another platform that allows you to get paid. You know, maybe you could also become a freelance writer and all you're doing is using other other creative content that's already been created, other creative content that's already been created, taking that transcription, adding a, some of your own thoughts and then publishing it as, as new. Like that is one way of like recirculating content. This is something I've, I wanted to test for a while. So just to be able to do it live and show you. But the question I have for you, if you are a chat GPT ninja, is looking at the process that I went through now what is a way that I could speed this up, expedite what I just did? Because I, I want to see if I can actually do this in less than, I mean, 10 minutes would be ideal. From there, it's like less than five minutes. So just imagine if you could take all these different videos, I could take all my videos, publish them on Forbes, and do that in less than five minutes and crank out five, 20 articles and not only get the views from YouTube, but also getting paid for Forbes or any other platforms. Like this is where AI, and AI platforms like chat GPT will just start blowing your mind. I mean, you talk about, you know, here on the wealth hacker channel, we're talking about faster ways to build wealth. I mean, AI is making it that much faster. Uh, so anyway, I I'm excited to share what I'm learning. I'd also just want to know what are you learning? What, how have you used chat GPT or other AI tools in your life? Um, have you found ways to make money? It's, it's very exciting. Um, I love productivity. I love efficiency and finding little hacks like this is just, I mean, it just makes me, it just makes me giddy. I mean, it just makes me giddy. It makes me so happy. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video until next time. This is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money. It's your life and only you can make it awesome until next time. Peace.